Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Random Pets Laboratory Challenge here in The Sims 4. With a ton of custom content and quite a few wild creatures whose genes we are going to mix and match and hybridize into unexpected creatures. And we are taking a break from our magical animals in order to return to some of the animals that you will actually be hopefully seeing soon in Planet Zoo. So you guys know how hyped I am to be able to see and play at Planet Zoo. The beta will be coming out fairly soon and we are going to be all over that as soon as we can. And one of the animals you can actually get in Planet Zoo is one of the animals that you guys have requested oh so many wonderful times to see. So I'm quite proud to have a snow leopard! A beautiful, beautiful snow leopard from Pug Owned on the gallery. We've actually crossbred this snow leopard before in the past, but this time I thought, why didn't we take this snow leopard and mix it with a creature from a part of the world completely opposite from the climate that the snow leopard would like and see what the results could be? So my friends, we have a mix of the snow-loving snow leopard and the desert-dwelling finnick box! <laughs> Look at how freaking cute it is! Oh my gosh, I love it! But it just popped into my head. I was like, we should crossbreed today. A snow leopard, since many people have requested it, and snow leopards will be in Planet Zoo. I do not believe finnick foxes are on the list, but I wouldn't be surprised to see them in the future. They are so freaking ridiculously cute, but with the finnick fox's big ears and its love of warmer climates, I thought this was the perfect tale of opposites attracting. So I would like you guys all to welcome Lee Lani, the snow leopard, as she descends from her snowy mountains and has happened to bump into an escaped exotic pet as so often happens with the poor finnick fox population john uh john so john john i guess johan johan I'll, I'll go ahead and be like john but johan here is an escaped pet and he has found himself wandering and lost wondering how he will ever be able to take care of himself and there's something about those big fluffy ears that, you know, despite, you know, being a little hungry and Liani thinking maybe it would be easy to go ahead and turn him into a little bit of a snack to eat, she just can't help herself. There's something about those eyes, those ears, that enchants her. And so we have another crossbreed romance begin. But all right, so really quickly, I wanted to say thank you to the creator of the Finnick Fox. Let me go ahead and make sure I find them. Here we go. Esper Jester EA. So Esther Esther Jester EA and it says EA but I don't think that like that means they work for EA that just they just threw it in the name. Uh, but thank you very much for your Finnick Fox. I want you guys always to know where the credit belongs on the animals and if you happen to know that maybe the gallery was a little bit silly and didn't credit the right people, please let me know in the comments. It's super important. You guys are all pretty much like somewhat artistically inclined I've found. Many of you have dabbled in art if not are artists yourselves. You know how important it is to give that credit. But all right, let's go ahead. I'm gonna start pulling up the names. Ah. <sighs> And as always, my friends, if you would like to become one of our random animals in our Labarkatory challenge or one of their hybrid babies, all you need to do is go ahead and leave a comment down below. It will be added into the mix and the random comment picker may pick you next time. And as always, do please continue to leave your suggestions for animals because I do write them down and they do go into the list and then I look at the list when it's time to mix and match and I see what I'm in the mood for. So today I'm in the mood for snow leopards and finnick foxes. So. Let's see what this love match of opposite attracting biomes and climate types uh, ends up creating. I'm kind of hoping, my goal here, pause crossed, is for a large finnick fox eared snow leopard. That's kind of what I'm really hoping. Or a tiny snow leopard dabbled finnick fox. So let's go ahead and try this out. The very first litter. <gasps> Oh, that was with the crossbreed with a Dalmatian. Okay, we're just gonna take a little peek. What would a snow leopard and Dalmatian look like? Oh my gosh. Not what I expected. Back down we go. All right. Snow leopard, Fennec Fox, number one. 
Demon eyes! Of course you have to show up again. You're only still in my game, demon eyes, because it turns out I cannot remove them. Uh, but you know what? I might start rolling and... Okay, I might start rolling my dice and we'll re-roll the eyes if we get demon eyes, because I'm so tired of having demon eyes all the time. So, all right, we have little deckish, deskish even. So deskish, thank you so much for your comment in our previous adventures. You are now here as a Finnick Fox Snow Leopard Cross. You look a little bit more like your Finnick Fox father. Man, try saying that five times fast. You are a glutton who is hairy and independent. And I rolled my dice and my dice says that we get to randomize your eyes because I am so done of having de these demon eyes. I swear we get them more than anything else. There we go. Oh, Dekish, you're so cute. And I will randomize on the demon eyes when we're not doing magical creatures from now on, guys. Unless it rolls up as like an albino creature. <gasps> oh, if only. It is gonna be amazing to have the Snow Leopard crossbreed. This is awesome. <gasps> you're beautiful. Holy cow. Who is this? Let me get a new name. Wow. Oh my gosh, you guys. All right, this is actually Brenna. So Brenna, here you are. And by the way, thank you so much for the long list that you have been leaving on so many of our videos. It does give me many ideas for future crossbreeds. And Brenna, you are an energetic, act or you're an active hairy sleuth. So you're quite curious and you've got a lot to show with the world. All right, there we go. Let me pull up another name. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, here we go. And now we're going to crossbreed the Snow Leopard and the Finnick Fox again. Oh, these are so cute. Maybe we should be doing a Snow Leopard and the Dalmatian. Oh my gosh. <gasps> wow! I wasn't expecting this coat color at all. I haven't actually seen these whatsoever. Uh, like this particular lineup in a long time. So that's really fun. Let me go ahead and get the new name. Dun, 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 dun. And this is actually going to be Amelia. Sorry about that, guys. Don't mean for the names to take so long. There we go. Amelia, you cannot produce dairy. However, you can be a playful, stubborn hunter. That sounds wonderful, my dear. All right. So we have Amelia. Next up. So far, no snow leopard pattern. Oh, there's so many cute Dalmatians. Look at this! Oh my gosh! I think that the Finnick Fox genes are just really strong. Maybe all of these puppies are meant for warmer climates. But all right, so this is actually a little Chevy. So welcome, Chevy, to the family. So happy to have you born and join us. Oh, let me get the next name. There we go. And randomize. You cannot produce wool, Chevy. I don't think there's enough on you to make a pillow. However, you can be a playful sleuth who is aggressive. Hmm, aggressive is a little concerning, but we'll see how that plays out. And you know, snow leopards, oh, snow leopards are so pretty. Oh, please, 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 please. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it turns out Finnick Fox jeans are very strong. Look at the size of those ears. I can't wait to see how many of them grow up with those ears too. And this is actually going to be Athena. There we are. And we're going to go ahead and roll. So Athena, you are a jumpy hunter who is adventurous. So you're pretty cute and I think you're going to have your dad's big ears. Are we already on the last one? We are, and no snow leopard in sight, but we will go ahead and have to keep the snow leopards in mind for the future. They have very cute babies. <gasps> Please, I just want one snow leopard baby. Please, jo oh my gosh. Okay, no luck there. They all take after their dad when it comes to the, the patterning, but it's really cool to see that happen sometimes. So this is actually going to be Cheetah Girl. So Cheetah Girl, welcome, welcome. I think we'll just go ahead and call you Cheetah. I, I kind of love that we have a Snow Leopard and a Finnick Fox and they had a child named Cheetah. And you are going to be a playful, hairy, and a sleuth, which sounds amazing to me. So there we go, guys. It turns out that we get none of our precious spots that you guys know. 
I am such a fan of spots. I don't know why. I just really, really, really love the spotty creatures. And we do not have any of them this time. But that's okay. Because Liani, Li, uh, yeah, Leah Lani has ended up finding that her Finnick Fox mate has had several warm little fluffy puppies who look just like him. Or will they look just like him? Let's go ahead and start growing them up. Duckish here first. Oh! oh. Duckish, there might have been a reason you had the demon eyes. You guys, I don't know about this one. I don't know about this. Duckish, you kind of look like a naked mole rat. I, I shall not lie. You do kind of look like a naked mole rat. But all right, um, hi. So, this mix is going places I didn't expect. I think Duckish, with, you know, having no fur, needs to live in the desert, like his dad. All right, Brenna? Oh, oh, oh. Brenna! Oh, that's beautiful. Look at her. Okay, this is more what I thought we would get. Um, still quite amazing, kind of almost looks cougar-esque, but has the Finnick Fox coloring. Very, very beautiful. Hmm. All right, so that's very different, very, very different from Duckish. We're going to have a wide range of results here. That's the lesson we're learning. Amelia, you are up next, my dear. I'm going to go ahead and make you an adult. Oh, precious! There is something almost teddy bear-esque about the way Amelia looks. I actually really love this coat pattern. I'm not familiar with it because I've never really, like, recently worked with any animal that had this pattern. So it's really fun. So it's a five arrangement coat pattern. Good to know. Uh, that would have been really fun if we had the magic ability to add a little bit of colors all over the place, wouldn't it? Oh, there you go, Amelia. All right, Chevy, I'm going to go ahead and grow you up, too. And... <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Chevy, you kind of look like a weird cat, like a Persian cat. What? Okay, guys, this mix is really going places I didn't expect, but here is Chevy. None of these animals look anything alike. You would, like, I mean, Brenna and Amelia kind of look alike, but you wouldn't line them up and be like, yep, they're all related. This is, this is, like, Chevy. This is very unexpected. All right, you guys ready? Athena? Oh, oh. <gasps> Athena! What? Oh my gosh, none of them look alike. This is amazing. The mix of these genetics is actually turning out to be much more dramatic than anything I thought it would be. Uh, and we have some big ears on Cheetah here too. So Cheetah? Cheetah? Interesting. Very interesting indeed. <laughs> wow, look at Cheetah's little face. Huh. A mouse? Maybe? Not really? Kind of a mole? What do you guys think cheetah looks like the most? Definitely not a cheetah. Definitely not a cheetah. I feel like Lilo, maybe? Or like Lilo and Stitch, you know? Stitch from Lilo and Stitch? Maybe? I'm kind of getting that vibe. <laughs> oh my gosh. But alright guys. So, this is what you get when you mix a snow leopard with a finnick fox. The results are not what I expected. Didn't expect Duckish. Kinda expected Brenna. Brenna, you're beautiful. Very nice. Everyone's beautiful. Everyone. Don't worry. You're all precious. Uh, Amelia. Really teddy bear-esque. Really looks like the kind of animal you could uh, let go ahead and watch after your kids, even though she's actually part Snow Leopard and Finnick Fox. Um, Chevy gave me a bit of a surprise. Definitely. Athena. Love the ears. Cheetah. You've got a great personality. But all right, guys. So thank you so much for joining me. As usual, these mixes, even if they don't have that magic touch, do have a, quite a bit of unexpected results. And I look forward to doing some more crossbreeds in the future. If you guys could, do please leave a like for our wonderful, interesting animals. 
If you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.